YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a crazy transformation. This guy hasn't had a haircut in at least five weeks, so we're in for a good video. First of all, we're starting off with our profile section, straight through the center of the head. And now we're creating a square guideline on top, but making it a little bit round towards the front of the head. When taking our sections, we're gonna take some hair from a previous section so that it has some guard. And I'm gonna cut the hair from the back so that allows me to relayer it and not take any too much off the front. As you can see, we're just following the guard from the back and then continue it forward. Being sure to only cut to the second knuckle so that the tension stays the same. Okay, now following that up, we're gonna take our profile section again through the center of the head. And now we're starting to cut from the front of the head because it allows us to keep a better posture. Following our guide from the front of the head, following it all the way to the back of the crown. Making sure to keep our sections clean. And now we're coming in to cross check, getting rid of them flyaways. As you can see, there's a little bit there, that's okay. Just get rid of all this to keep all the shape. Now we're coming in and sectioning off our parietal ridge area or the contour. And we're just doing some block graduation. The reason we're doing some block graduation in this area of the head is so that it creates hair on top and allows us to have a nice canvas to use a clipper into. As you can see, we're keeping it very square and maintaining that static blade on the scissor. We're coming in, just adding a little bit of product in well, before we blow dry and prepare the hair for the clipper work. Be sure to dry out the root and make sure it's all completely dry. Sorry guys, my camera had a little bit of a blip. I actually lost the footage of me removing all the bulk and setting in the guideline. But as you can see, we're setting the guideline through the ear and not taking it above the ear, just due to the fact the hair's a little bit fine and we don't have that much space to fade into. And the two steps that I've just spoke over, we started with a two and a half to get rid of some more bulk. But now you can see we're setting in a 0.5 guideline, about an inch, and we're keeping that as consistent as possible. We're now gonna follow that up with a one guard open. As you can see, his hair is a little bit fine, so as you can see, I am opening and closing the lever as I go, just to soften that middle line. This works well with this type of hair because the guidelines aren't too harsh. But if the hair was thicker, you wouldn't be able to do this. You need to be more firm with your guides. As you can see, there's a lot of lever play, and this is almost detailing as I go. Following that up with the 0.5 guard, and again, we are opening and closing as we go, just because the guidelines aren't too harsh, and this allows us to soften them. And if we create any other guidelines, we can remove them just by opening the lever a little bit. We're now following that up with a one and a half guard closed, just to remove some dark spots as I see there. But as you can see, the fade is coming together nicely, but still needs a little bit of detail work. We're now coming in with an even smaller one guard. Luckily enough, I have this guard, but if not, you can just use the 0.5 or your normal one guard, they'll work just as well. As you can see, this is a lot of detail work. I like to do this as I go, so I don't have to do as much at the end. We're now moving on to the other side, starting with our two guard closed, and this is just to remove some of the bulk. But make sure not to go too high into that block graduation you created on the sides, otherwise you will ruin your shape. Again, we're now coming in with our 0.5 guard, but now we're taking that over the ear and doing it about an inch, just keeping that as consistent as possible. I like to close my lever as I work down, just so that you see that fade dissolve rather than taking that guideline up any higher. I'm going to leave you and just let you watch the steps, and I'll be back in a little bit. Damn it, Tito. Another one? I'm gonna say it again, cheese and bread. Look at that fade coming together. Guys, remember to, when you're fading, look away at something else so the eyes can reset so that you can see dark spots that you couldn't see before. This is such a great technique so that it allows you to take your haircuts to the next level. and look to my mirror just to see if there's any imperfections and let me give you a little tip the mirror doesn't lie I 
just doing a lot of detail work here just so that your haircut is next level and ultimately this is what can get more people in your chair so as I always say this is vital and I can't stress enough how important this step is right so quickly moving on we're going into the back now so we're going to start with the one and a half guard open just to remove the bulk and the reason I did this instead of starting with the two is because the hair is slightly thicker on the back so I can afford to do that now going on to putting on our 0.5 guideline in here we're going to make it slightly thicker as you can see it's got a bit of protru a protruding occipital bone sorry guys bit of a tongue twister there uh setting that in and we're going to remove that bottom line straight away just by slowly closing our lever as and the next step after that is our one guard open and we're going to do that just under our 1.5 guard on our wall magic clip and now we're going to again soften that middle line by closing the lever on the one and just doing a bit of lever play just to remove some dark spots and now as you can see we're coming in our 0.5 guard just to soften up that bottom line even more and now we're really just detailing the haircut just to get this haircut to the next level and getting rid of those dark spots and looking in all different kind of angles turning the head into the light and looking in the mirror just to see if there's any imperfections and now we're coming in with scissor over cone and look as you can see I'm keeping a very static blade at the bottom and just getting rid of the ends of the hairs just that aren't quite sitting in the right place for me, I prefer to use scissor or comb just because I feel like I have more control. But if you feel more comfortable using clip over comb, do whatever you're happy with. Now coming in with the shape up, starting in the center, taking that to the desired length that you and the client have spoke about. Now following that guide to the corner of the right side, trying to keep that as horizontal and as straight as possible, while remembering not to press the hair too many times because the skin underneath may get irritated depending on how close your clippers are set. Now coming in and doing the vertical bars, just following the natural guideline, making sure not to push them back too far. Again, make sure not to press the skin too many times as it could get irritated. As you just seen then, I like to comb down the hair just to try to get, get rid of any flyaways as sometimes you can't get them all. Now following our previous guideline into the left corner, trying to keep that line as horizontal as possible and keeping it as straight as you can. Now coming in to the other vertical bar, again following the natural hair growth pattern and not pushing them back in any way, keeping it nice and natural but maintaining a sharp line. But remember to brush the hair so that you get rid of any flyaways and so that you don't have any overhanging hairs. Also remember to dust your client off just to keep them comfortable. Here we're detailing like you would on the sides, just to make sure that we get rid of any flyaways and there's no stragglers overhanging. So let's recap, here's the before. Cool, what a mess. What a transformation we've had in this video. Boom, cheese and bread, look at that. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please hit that like, subscribe and the bell icon so you know when I next upload, peace.